April 6, Saturday, Saturday of the fourth week of Lent. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Some in the crowd who heard these words of Jesus said, This is truly the prophet. Others said, This is the Christ. But others said, The Christ will not come from Galilee. Will he? Does not scripture say that the Christ will be of David's family and come from Bethlehem, the village where David lived? So a division occurred in the crowd because of him. Some of them even wanted to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him. So the guards went to the chief priests and Pharisees who asked them, Why did you not bring him? The guards answered, Never before has anyone spoken like this one. So the Pharisees answered them, Have you also been deceived? Have any of these authorities or the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd, which does not know the law, is accursed. Nicodemus, one of their members who had come to him earlier, said to them, Does our law condemn a person before it first hears him and finds out what he is doing? They answered and said to him, You are not from Galilee also, are you? Look and see that no prophet arises from Galilee. Then each went to his own house. The Gospel of the Lord A division occurred in the crowd. Jesus is the center of controversy. Although he does not start a fight, People here argue as to his region of origin and as to his identity, a prophet or the Messiah. Both titles do not seem to fit Jesus based on his birth origin. Religious authorities are not interested in the people's appreciation of Jesus in their arguments. They want to shift discussion from Jesus to the law and their teachings. They accuse those who acknowledge his power as being deceived or ignorant of the law. Those who defend Jesus, like Nicodemus, are discredited. In order not to be accused of anything, some will deny outright Jesus' capacity to work miracles. We Christians today have no problem accepting that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, born in Bethlehem. But we are divided on who Jesus is. No one has the monopoly on truth. We should listen to those who have true faith in Jesus, not to the demagogues who have no use for the sacraments and the church.